Liga. Chasing dreams we hope to be
across the sea, chasing dreams we hope to be.
Hi guys, we're back at uh, being live here at Tales of Lathran and uh, I think that this is something I would like to start doing a little bit more. So um, just throw your questions, everything uh, is up for, yeah, everything is, I'll try to answer it as go good as I can, but um, today we're going to be drawing a character design. I'm just going to turn down the music. So, um, I wanted to go live more and uh, stream the um, process of when we animate and, and draw and do some, you know, law videos where I watch through the videos and talk over and can tell a little bit more about the characters. Um, but um, today is actually really interesting. <laughs> Let me just take this down a little. Ah, it was a new <laughs> follower. Hey, I was completely surprised about that sound. Um, thanks for following. But um, today we are going to do something interesting because uh, Kenneth, I made the reward with. Um, me and him, we met to record uh, Vito and Wilhelm, uh, mainly Wilhelm because he's mostly in, in Daughter's Revenge in the weekend. And we're going to be doing another um, another live, um, no, not live, we're going to be doing an animation jam, just like we did the, uh, thanks for following, the boy on the bus. <laughs> we're going to be doing another um, animation jam where we are going to be animating two Dungeons and Dragons characters and the way we did it was we rolled two characters randomly and we rolled a setting and the setting is let me just show you here uh, in the scene so the idea is that we're going to be doing this adventure here so a recently discovered artifact causes spellcasters power to go every and Kenny is going to be a tiefling bard, which I'm going to design today. And he has designed a Kenko droid, as you can see here. So basically, this is the character I'm going to be running around with. I'm a droid, and I'm a Kenko, and uh, I love these little legs he did. Um, I think um, I know what kind of spells I want to take. I think we're going to be level 5, uh, both of us, so I can do like call lightning and stuff. Um, but um, I haven't sent him the design for the tiefling yet, and that's why I want to do that with you guys here. Um, and yeah, basically I've done a little bit of sketches, and um, um, and we're just going to be trying to, to find a cool design, and I'm going to show my, my progress. But uh, now I'm going to answer some questions. Um... So Eric Riri asks, how are you doing in the madness of recent months? Yeah, so there's been a lot of stuff going on in the recent months. Uh, I think I answered in my last stream as well, you know, for the Corona we worked, um, for two months we worked at our home bases. So everybody from the team went home and we worked. Uh, yeah, it was, we, we managed, it was cozy, we had um, meetings every day and, and, you know, just caught up digitally. Um, and uh, for the um, Black Lives Matter, of course, we support that full on. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, yeah, embarrassing that there's still police brutality and, and on inequality, so, um, yeah. Yes, so the animation jam, for the ones who don't know what the animation jam is, we have done many, and it was the animation jams that spawned the short film The Reward, which spawned the series Tales of Elithran. And uh, let me just show you the Pokemon one we did. So, show display, now you can see me and your chat. And let me just go to the jam. All right, I'm just gonna wait, click and play until I can see that it's up on the screen. 
Can you see the the screen, the full screen, like the Pokemon gem? Okay, let me just check. Yeah, it's probably show display. Um, two seconds. I want to show the um, the desktop. I'm just gonna do that here. Display capture. Here we go. Oh, in the meantime, we have someone ask, uh, "What's your planning during the day? Do you still have some time to watch some shows or play video games?" Oh yeah. Oh, and you need to add a display capture. Yeah, exactly. So we have that now. So the question was if I had time to do other things than uh, animating and um, and uh, yeah, do I have play time to play games and stuff? Well, me and Anna, um, one of my teammates here, we're playing uh, the DLC of Pokemon, but uh, I must admit that I haven't had too much time to dig into it. But I did get the shiny. Sarah. Sir, say, Sarah. I did get the shiny one today, so that was epic. If you, uh, yeah, if you used Pokemon Home the last couple of days, then you can get a shiny Pokemon from today to the sixth. Um, and I know that Jenny has been playing uh, The Last of Us Two. Would be super cool. I don't have a, a PlayStation Four, unfortunately. Um, but no, there's been a lot of. There's been a lot of Tales of Lithran and Choose the Path and just doing a lot of cool stuff here. I've also been teaching a bit, but um, but for the um, for the hobby projects, I've been doing Warhammer. <laughs> I have to show you. Uh, I did, uh, maybe I'll show you later. I didn't show it last time, but I've been doing a lot of Age of Sigma, uh, which is like a miniature game from Warhammer where I'm painting ghosts and... Uh, Stormcasts. Oh yeah. No stream is supposed to be perfect the first couple of times. Um, there we go. So, for the ones who haven't seen it, this is like um, the animation jam we did. Uh, where we're playing two Pokemon trainers at six minutes, and we just like did a chain where I animated, then Kenneth animated, then I animated, and we threw it back and forth, um, and anima animated our characters. And eventually, they became um, Megan Ken from the reward, as you know, who get the map in the end. And we're following them in Choose the Path, and they're also in the next episode. But here's a little clip from that. So definitely check that out. Um, and that's what we're doing again. It's been years since we made one last time. So uh, let me just get back to my scene. But today we're just designing a character. So it would be super neat to hear what you think about these. Um, uh, designs I've made so far. I've tried to go in and um, find some references. I like this kind of out outfit. You've seen that I put a little red spot on the pants. I think that would be cool for a tiefling. And I like this top here with the little uh, yeah, collar on, uh, on this little poet. And I think that, of course, it's a tiefling, so we need horns and stuff. And uh, yeah, there's like a tiefling bard kind of thing here, which I thought was could be a good um, reference. Is there anything uh, you think in particular would be cool for a bard? Uh, I want to figure out the instrument. I was thinking drums like this could be fun. <coughs> Let me see what happens on the chat. Mm. 
ram horns <laughs> would be super neat. Um, I was also thinking some cool goat horns. Let me just try to sketch a little bit. Could be something like maybe we could have the horns out here. We were thinking of having like um, one horn instead of two, but I think the two horns could be, you know, the classic. And I think I'm gonna make a girl. That would be. That would be neat. the music back up but um, yeah, something like this maybe she is a bard so she should also be a little bit like not too evil I don't know this might be a little bit this might be a little bit too evil let's see what uh, what happens I'm gonna go back to my sketches here and draw on top So usually what I start with doing is finding like a cool silhouette. This was an idea for like one horn that I can then draw on top of. Uh, I'm just gonna do like one now as like a little, um, just a little warm up. I think it would be cool if the hair is like behind. Maybe some cool haircut as well. Like I love like, uh, uh, how they did the hair on she is it Shiva Shiva the F Final Fantasy Ice Aeon in Final Fantasy Ten. Maybe something like this. What is the accordion? Uh, you know the like piano uh, stretchy thing? Ah. How do you spell it? Let me just see. So somebody asked for um, if um, how I usually find clothes for characters. I think that uh, for the reward, I look at a lot of like hipsters um, and mix that with fantasy um, because I think it's always over the top and really fun mismatch. Um, there's a lot of fashion going on, um, and it's just looking around and you know sketching people on the street. I think there's so much cool clothes going but uh, as you see in in the document here uh, I found like clothes um, before I started where I like like the thing that goes up here uh, like with some loose thing uh, on and like really big sleeves um, yeah and then I get inspired because if I don't have like any particular clothes in mind I usually go to like what I usually draw um, and um, that is basically um, a scarf <laughs> or like uh, something up on around the um, around the neck. Um, yeah, like for example here, if I don't have any 
um, reference for it first. I'll probably go for the shape I made first. And um, let's see what I would do here. I'll probably think Bart, and the first thing um, I think of with Bart is like, okay, they should probably have like a little bit of a some loose outfit. Um, I like the idea of a poncho. Um, chieflings are kind of demonic creatures, or at least like they're not very welcome in human cities. So I also imagine they wouldn't go with exactly that. They would probably go more with like gill clothes or some kind of um, yeah, a little bit more ancient than uh, what they would go around with in the in the city. We could put like a little bit of like a. Right now I'm just like sketching and trying to find the, the style or like something that we can take, move forward with. Um, Jenny, can you send me a picture of that uh, instrument? Mm One of the things that's nice to uh, look for is also like the strong shapes and the silhouettes. Like for example, for this one, I really like that the first idea was just to have something with like small legs, um, which uh, I think is super cool. With the you know, if you play with the shapes, you also think what could be interesting for the horn. Um, I'm going to try some different things with this one in a little like right after I've drawn the sketch. So we are almost there. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna find the instrument. Oh, this one. <laughs> okay, an harmonica. And Danish, yeah, it's the harmonica. Mouth harmonica. Let's drag that in. Do you guys want some music back on? Just uh, let me know in the comments, then I'll get some music on as well. Nice, thank you. We have a lot of little gifts for <laughs> a lot of different stuff. This is the following where Amaroth and Rudin decides to team up anyways. Even though they just said goodbye in Traveling DT. Um, just gotta import this harmonica. There we go. <laughs> Okay, this is instrument is gonna be a tough one. I guess that you would be carrying a little, I'm probably gonna make a little design first to see what could fit. So she has like a little bit of some tangents there. So first thing to do is definitely simplifying this thing. <coughs> I 
Which is even gonna read? <laughs> I think maybe you could make a thinner one. Like some alternative thing. It's like some kind of things for the hands here. Um, let's put back some music. Okay, but now she should get this instrument, so we're gonna try something. What do you think of this design? Should we try some more things? Some more designs before we continue, or should we continue on her? Yeah, that's a good idea. It's a tiefling. Let's do that before we try some more. So I'm just gonna do some more sketches here. Maybe try some of these. So I made some sketches in my sketchbook and scanned them in, and just for to trying some different takes on like um, um, shapes and stuff. So this one I'm gonna try to give like a bigger nose. Maybe actually give like black eyes would be nice. Mouth up here. It is a bard after all. They're always smiling. Maybe the horns could be on to the side. Oh, this one is actually going back. That's also pretty interesting. Oh, that's a little bit too silly there. just gonna make a, a lot of little sketches and then we can like vote for it um, maybe two horns would be good after all let me try this one oh awesome <laughs> so Kenneth my man uh, I'm doing this with he's in the chat So as mentioned, um, uh, Ken and I also did the reward in the first hero and started this project together. So I really look forward to get back in and animating on this. It's going to be super nice. I'll try to maybe give this some horns. And if you have any ideas for like spells to choose, definitely let me know. If you are like playing Dungeons and Dragons, you uh, you should know what spells bards and druids have. Because though we're, we're gonna do it like this, so basically we're only gonna use the spells that we prepare for before the jam, and then we just have to improvise when um, when we start. Maybe we could take the horns a little bit further down. Hmm, that's uh, something interesting there. Maybe a little bit too tribal. Uh, 
Let me try this one. I'm just going to see if we can push the nose a little bit more to a normal. Kind of like the little, the small eyes this one got. Oh yeah, Vicious Mockery. That's for the Bard. Ah oh man, I'm playing the Druid. Both Bard spells and Druid uh, spells are very welcome. Can play Smash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, Super Smash Bros. It's such a good game. Maybe like a little scarfing. When I have the face, basically we just have to find the costume. So uh, if there are any faces where you think that's interesting, then uh, just let me know in the chat. And maybe we could go for. I think maybe we could go for something. Maybe a little bit more goth. out other people are saying conjure animals or call lightning yeah definitely call lightning that's that's a must if you're a druid what was the other one uh, I'm just just not three. Not if I wild yeah wild shape that would be a fun one to have fun animation jam What hair should we get? Hmm, maybe, maybe we should try some bigger horns. Um, cool. Some small ones. Yeah, this one is a young one. A young tiefling. This one is definitely closer to the to the fiend realms than the other ones I've drawn. Let's try here. Even more goblin-ish. I wanted to have hair, and I wanted to be kind of like part. Uh, you know, um, a little bit more modest. No, sorry, uh, kind looking maybe, but I think God is fine. So let's go for something here. Kind of like how this one turned out. I'm gonna try to do some shapes first. Um, okay. So, call lightning. Oh, the vicious mockery would be good. All the spells that could inspire. If you have like some kind of like um, references uh, or like or um, haircuts or anything that could be interesting for me to throw in here. Just like put in the comment, I'll try to, to get it into the design. They've been saying uh, half bald punk. Half bald punk? Yeah. Okay. Someone else says maybe more David Bowie style punk. Oh yeah, David, oh yeah, that's a good one. David Bowie. Let's try this. I'm gonna try to make this into something. Okay, let's try that half bolt. Oh, and someone's saying, could you maybe put a number next to the faces so it's easier to call out? Oh yeah. So this one we're gonna call one, and then the next one we're gonna go back to. We're gonna. Okay, good idea. Very good idea. Thanks for that suggestion. Okay, so this one we have to make in bolt. I think we're gonna try to have like a face. Um. Sinister one here. What should we have the nose? Maybe something like this. 
I really like these dark eyes. I think we should go for that. Oh yeah. That's true. I definitely think we're gonna have a lot of action in this. Something cool about the eyes here. Uh, half bolt. That's like a really big hit now. I think we're gonna have to do like some kind of hat. It is a bard after all, so. Maybe a little feather. Okay, I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna show it. Okay, if you guys can just keep the chat up, I'm gonna find an image. Because you are not gonna believe it. It is insane. <laughs> I like he has a little medallion here. Maybe some kind of like... This is a really evil one, <laughs> it's definitely not uh, a girl. But now we have a number one, so let's begin this thing. I'm gonna call this one number two. Do like another little take on her. Just gonna check on the Twitch chat here. So I can see what you say here. <laughs> awesome. All right. Do you guys like her? I think there's something interesting to this. This is gonna be like our candidates on this page. So let me just quickly go over to the other page and see if there's something you like. Do any of you like? Um, Any of these? We have like three, four, five, six, seven. Someone also wants to do a teleport in the mix. Teleport? Mm. I don't know if that's strong enough as a third level spell though. Mm. All right, let me just see if we have others. Yeah, so just like, ah, actually just, just grab these as well. And then take them over here. I'm just gonna place these guys here. So we can gather them on one page. And then when we take one, that's the one we're gonna continue with. <coughs> I kinda like these little teeth this one has gotten. These uh, big eyebrows. Maybe she could have some facial paint as well. After all, she does travel the realms and tell stories she wants to have. That's pretty cool, actually. Which curse? The Stokers. The Stoke. The Stokers. Oh yeah, that's actually good. <laughs> the Stoke. The Stoke <laughs> It's pretty crazy today. We uh, we like put the last bits on the daughter's revenge. So we're focusing a lot on 
music and sounds and press kit and all kinds of stuff now, but I, I'm really, really proud of what we have been able to to make with this season two. Yeah, and it's just been it's a really cool team we have gathered for this. Maybe she could have like a little magic uh, bracelet thingy. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, but now you can look at what we have so far and then we can choose a direction. And if I'm actually gonna write like also one that says seven here, and that's like none, we have to like continue moving forward so this will be like if we have to move forward <laughs> this is if you like some of these directions meanwhile i will find the warhammer yes, <laughs> 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 i mean i could definitely keep sketching and seeing if we could get something more closer uh, to what you guys want so seven is for continue sketching the other numbers is to move forward i'm gonna find the warhammer It's also cool. I think that if we take any of these, I will just continue exploring around that. So it's not going to be final, final. I've just got to continue down one of these routes. Um, but now I'll find some Warhammer. All right. I had to find my like uh, <laughs> my chat with one of my friends where I like send all my miniatures. <laughs> we have this little thing where everything something is made. We just like um, send it over. Let me just find it here. Actually, there was just like a big uh, sale uh, for exactly that in my in my uh, you know usual miniature dealer shop. But um, I was so close to buying a lot and starting that. But um, yeah, the space <laughs> at home is uh, being pretty occupied. I I love miniatures. Um, let me just find it here and. Almost there. Okay. I'm just sending it to myself here. Yeah. Here we go. So, first, I'd like to show my. Um, here we go. <laughs> Someone's saying uh, 
they don't know why, but seven's growing on them. Those lines are pretty dynamic and strong. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so first of all, here we have my um, here we have my um, uh, vampire accounts. It's the old school. Um, we have like yeah. So the vampire accounts has now turned into flesh eaters, corpse, and uh, and um, uh, legions of Nagash and. Um, that's what I've been building. These up here are like the um, um, the night hunt, the ghosts, and I'm also collecting them. And of course, I needed some paladins, so I have also, um, yeah, moved in those. And here we have some of my ghosts. Yes, we'll need Nido, and what more? What more? Uh, I made a little zombie <laughs> out of an old uh, orc. Um, let me just find some more stuff. Yeah, some of the paladins. Some of the paladins. I'm just showing off. Um, which one do I have more? I want to find something colored. Uh, I think this one maybe. Yeah, that one, a little beast. What more, what more? Yeah, just shoot any questions if you have any questions for the <laughs> for the miniatures here. And this one is also really cool. I like that my little leader. Little big leader. Some more paladins. Uh, what more? Now I'm also just showing off. Someone's asked, have you 3D printed any of them? What? No, no, I, all of these are like just stuff that I have f bought on eBay or like on um, sales or in, or like starter kits and stuff. But it's, it's you know, I've had this hobby for a long time, remember that. Um, so, let me just see, I want to show this one off. This one, I painted that during the corona virus. Um, I just need to put some cork on here on the bottom. What more, what more? Yeah, there's plenty. Plenty of good stuff. Um, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> enough of that. Yeah, gotta love fantasy. Mm -hmm. Okay, what, who's winning? Two and five. So it, it's totally equal and even between two and five. I mean, I would vote for five. I would vote for two, so. Okay, but well I'm gonna mix these two then. That's perfect. Alright, let's go for these. All right. Well, at the moment we are five. Anna, Jenny, Natasha, and James, and me. Um, but there's been plenty of people um, working with us over the last many months. Um, yeah, both from distance and from uh, from here, and uh, yeah, it's been a pure. Pure uh, pleasure to work with all of them. Real cool people. It's like a little, um, it's like a little group of adventurers and uh, just sitting and doing cool stuff. Sometimes a little bit uh, chaotic and hectic because we do a lot of, a lot of stuff. And every time uh, that's like a new idea, it's like, okay, how can we make this happen? So I'm just going to put these on. Alright, so 
we're gonna make a mix of these two. So let's get um, actually down here. Oh, thank you. Thanks for following. I need to sit with two screens next time so I don't have to sit and check the chat box on the phone. Yeah, somebody asks if it's a game or something, the miniatures. It's uh, <laughs> it's something I was introduced to when I was like 12, where you buy these miniatures where they have to be built and you sit and like paint and no glue and spray them and then you have to paint them as well. And then afterwards you have like an army where you can battle with your friends and you have to also build the whole landscape. So it's very, um, it's very like, uh, hard work to actually build an army <laughs> but uh, it's super nice and uh, they look great okay how are we gonna put these two together maybe maybe we're gonna give her these eyes then I'm gonna take a little bit of a smaller brush just to get some more details in and no pressure This is gonna be actually like this. One. And she has like a big smile. Let's add that over here. I kind of like like the big round head here she gets. Me? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So m most of the team are people that uh, I've gotten to learn through the animation workshop, uh, or through friends, or through people like uh, also just like going to um, actually Friday bars with uh, you know and my old son, my old uh, studio Sun Creature. They're still like we still hang out and there I also met some some cool peeps. Um, but it's been very organic. It's like there's some two of the the girls I'm working with um, I met just because they wrote like an assignment on the Kickstarter uh, campaigns we did previously, and then they interviewed me, and I was like, "Hey, let's work together." So. Um, Sorry, he asked okay, if you ask specifically for the for the ones we're sitting here at the studio, let's see. We started. Yeah, actually, so, yeah, three of them actually started here as uh, interns last year, and then afterwards we continued to work together. Um, yeah, and uh, I was also supervising on their uh, graduation film, like when they were in school, and uh, it's really a talented, talented crowd. Something cool about this creepy new approach to this one. <laughs> it's like a part that plays only heavy. And maybe we should borrow some of the hair as well. That's actually a good idea. So we make it a little bit more raw, something like this maybe. Maybe add the earrings as well. Oh uh, yeah, I like this. This is actually a cool approach. I think it's a good idea to mix the two. Maybe we could even give her some bigger hair. Okay, so Splicers asks, who, what do you think has influenced your art style the most? Uh, I 
think we have to go with I think we have to go with comics like uh, manga and <laughs> and um, films like Fully Cooly and uh, crazy animes like Golan Lagen and Gurren 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 Lagen and um, also I would say Dungeon Dragons games like Zelda and Final Fantasy and you know all <coughs> these imaginary worlds they are very inspirational and you know the amount of art books I've gone through just to check the concept art I think uh, you know inspired by stuff that's similar to yeah I think I think you you're able to see the influences in the in the work Do the impossible see the invisible? <laughs> Someone saying that uh, maybe we should try with more than one horn? Oh yeah. That's also very chiefling like, so we could try more than one horn. It gets very unicornish. They think it looks a bit phallic. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Let's go for some bigger horns then. Or oh, some not bigger horns, but some um, side horns. We could have like different uh, different sizes as well. Maybe a little bit smaller over here actually would be nice. Ah, <laughs> I just like made it worse. Yeah, this is pretty cool actually. I like the two horns better. How do you like this? These horns. Yeah, I was thinking that, but is that a little bit too Hellboy-ish? I don't know. Maybe it could have like a, a crack, yeah. Ah, yeah, it could actually have like some jewelry on the horns. Mm -hmm. Good idea. More horns. <laughs> That's actually what I did over here. It looked pretty dumb. <laughs> uh, let me show you. Here. This guy got a lot of horns. <laughs> like it went there and there and there. And I was like, no, 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 no. We're going Darth Maul here. We can't do it. Ah, yeah. Now we need to add the instrument. I uh, are we sure we're gonna do the um? What was the name of that instrument again? Accordion. Accordion. Okay, we're gonna do that then. If you're all up for it, then uh, that's gonna be your instrument. Just gonna really. Uh, my drawing skills are getting uh, challenged here. Okay, so let's go for something else for clothes. Just gonna draw. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this now. We're not. We don't need the reference for the characters anymore for the faces. So we're just gonna make a new body here. Let's make. A, I think it would be cool if she had like a some kind of like. Big shorts, maybe. Mm. 
and then, <laughs> then maybe the, it could actually be sitting around her like this so when she uses it she can just like drag it up that would be cool should she has a web have a weapon as well i guess parts also have a weapon right or maybe like a uh, wandering uh, yeah. like a little wand she can go with nah. Like this. I think this would be cool. Let's try that. Yeah, let's try this. How does that sound? Make it a giant accordion that's also a hammer too. Okay, how would we go around that? So, how would it also be a hammer? I, I couldn't put it like this, that would be weird. Right, or maybe? Could that work? You could have one of those collapsible. Yeah, she can just like, uh, maybe she can do like a, like a click it and then it locks and then if she clicks it out it's an instrument i think it's also cool if she just like can throw with it like uh, if she holds it here and it can go like really long so she can like hit people as like a ranged weapon as well almost if it goes like from this but can go like really far out yeah. let's go for that that would be cool okay let's try that Ah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. That's a good idea. I mean, I'm playing uh, like my character is a bird, right? So uh, there could be some animal, animal, um, some animal features. Okay. So what kind of animals? Like maybe some kind of like. Oh, thanks for following! Bumbled 33 Maybe something like this would be cool Would that be neat? We also need a tail <laughs> Did somebody ask if she was a chicken? No, that was just me I think that, uh, I think that actually it looks cool if she uh, has like bird le like is it too much like the other character though? He has definitely bird legs, so maybe she should not have bird legs. It could be like paws. Let's go for paws. And like some more animal animal these features. One? Oh yeah, gold legs. That's actually good. So we're getting more to yeah, you know if you meet this part on like um, on like a, uh, a crossroads, don't take her deal. Okay, so how does goat legs? So let me just find some goat legs. Uh, I think goat legs are actually pretty cool, but <laughs> it's gonna be really fun for her to walk around. She's probably gonna be like. Tuk, tuk, because they have tiny legs. Let me try to see. If it's goat legs, it's kind of like this small. That's goat legs. But it is pretty cool, actually. That is pretty cool. Then I guess... Do you guys like the small feet? Someone goes with giraffe legs. <laughs> <laughs> giraffe legs. Long. Nice. Then she'll just look like a normal Tales of Lithuanian character. Yeah, yeah. And then she'll look like a normal Tales of Lithuanian character. That's good comment. This other says that the flat hooves don't scream teeth for her. The flat hooves? Yeah, because like, goats have flat, non-pointed hooves, whereas yeah. like, goats... Yeah, exactly. And that doesn't scream teeth yeah. So slightly more pointy ones, maybe so look more devilish. Okay. I guess that tieflings, they have like mm. a... But then someone else says they like the small feet because they don't look like every 
Yeah, exactly. I think that what's cool about uh, especially Tales of Lutheran style and like drunk style is basically, uh, you know, not doing the totally traditional thing. But uh, let me just see um, what we could do because <laughs> what? Someone just wrote, I know Mikkel doesn't read, so I must watch One Piece. I thought you did. I totally, totally watch slash read One Piece. How do you, how do you know that I don't read that? Who it said it? It was Andreas that said it. Oh, <laughs> was it Andreas who said it? Because uh, what about my 35 uh, books at home? Should we give you a pub quiz? What? Give you a pop quiz. Don't quiz me. It's too long time since I. It's too long time since I, I read it. I'm gonna put these on again. Um, I think you're right. We should probably go for more pointy feet. Um, actually, I like many different steps. This is this is fun, uh, but it's not like. Um, I mean, actually, I think that both the design and the animation is really fun. Um, I wish I was way, 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 way better at like um, backgrounds, like some of the backgrounds artists we've been working with. That's a really. That's where you get like a lot of cool mood. Um, but I really like animation as well. Like, maybe I think a uh, rough animation is a little bit more fun than, than clean up. But I mean, uh, that's also a big, 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 big part of the animation if you do 2D traditionally. Okay, we're gonna go for these legs and then I'm gonna try some, probably maybe we could have like a little bit more big. But design is really fun. I also really love doing uh, sketches in the sketchbook and watercolors. Um, but the story part is like probably one of my favorite parts when you get the um, when you get personality into the characters. That's also why the, um, I feel super happy that we also have the Choose the Path series because then we can develop further on the characters. I wonder what we should do with this leg. It looks a bit stiff, right? Actually, I think we're just gonna redo the legs. Because now I know what I want with it. I think we're gonna take it a little bit further back. And have more like a... something like this yeah I think this is gonna be cool and then maybe should we have had some horns like typical tieflings what do you think like this kind of horns do you like this better or do you like stuff like this better where you have like the classic Okay, we're gonna go for these. That's why we're never gonna be able to finish in time. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one because I think we're gonna stream for another half hour and then we're gonna call this done. So I wanna put color on as well. That's why I'm gonna do this now. And as mentioned, I really want to have this kind of outfit over here. I think that's really nice for a bar tiefling, so. Let's take some quick puffy sleeves here. And we need to have this thing working. A little thing here. Okay. 
but just shoot questions over here if you uh, if you have any, then I'll answer them as good as I can. Let me know if there are some like good questions that I need to answer. All right, thanks for following, Sister Skull Kid. go for she should have bracelets on here and probably she can hold it just like she's gonna be pretty neat I think that the with the first Tales of Elithrian episode, the reward, we tried dialogue. And because we wanted to tell like a story that was basically a feature film boiled down to nine minutes, um, we ended up... Uh, <laughs> yeah, and the sound stressed too so much, you have no idea. Um, when we recorded uh, with voices, it was like every scene was like... Hey, let's uh, go to get a treasure map, blah, blah, blah. and that didn't work. So then we tried um, dialogue, but where it was Vito and Willem who were sitting as old, old men uh, looking back on their adventures as epic, and like, oh, Tohan, a dusty village out in the desert. And then in the end, it was like, ah, uh, and when they had high fived, it was like, ah, uh, the buzz of friendship was in our hands <laughs> yeah so obviously we didn't go for that either um and it turned out really nice when we did the kickstarter that it was non-dialogue because all the different uh, nationalities that supported the project uh, we wanted to everyone to be able to understand it and and get it um and you know dubbing and all that to different countries just yeah it's just not something we're specialized in then you need like a distributor. I think maybe how could you put like these like little tan like? I guess we could have like a little thing here. I'm very excited to see how this one is gonna work. But I'm, what I imagine is that this one can like stretch out and become a weapon. So I imagine that maybe she can have like horns on the side or something. So if she like drops it and holds in one of them, you know, you're like this little thing is coming against you. I'll clean this up later. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, it's gonna be fun uh, at some point um, when I'm streaming again. Um, yeah, I'm actually planning on streaming on Tuesdays, just so you know. You can like expect me to be sitting and doing different things on Tuesdays. Uh, it might change in if I have like if I'm not around or something and then we switch the day so I'll let you know if I'm on vacation. Um, thanks Shrew Mega. Yeah. What was the size of the team we're working on the reward? How long was pre production production For the reward? Yeah. The reward we uh, did we were like we were a team of I think seven or nine and um, basically it was a production where 
we had we had like me and Kenneth and Ole were animating um, a lot, and then we had like um, Glenn and Josefine were the production manager and art director, and Tanya and Grant did comp and backgrounds, and Jonas was doing only backgrounds, and then we had Paolo who did concepts and tech lead and also backgrounds. That was also nice, a really nice time back then. I'm trying to figure out how we're gonna put the back of this. She should probably be able to like attach it to something. So maybe like there's a something that she can lock it with. Could could it also be a drum maybe. We'll try this. She has like little gadgets on from previous uh, previous victories, and then we want to have like that pen should be. Yeah. So maybe just see what I had of references. Guess we want to be able to see this, so they should probably stop here. Maybe it is actually good to get over here. Nah, put it over there. Maybe she has like um, some kind of bandage on this if she's like running. Struggling a little bit with these like animal legs, but just we're gonna make it work. Maybe we should just go single on it. Mm -hmm. Can you just quickly say hi to Anto, who's also in the chat? Oh, cool. Can hey, Anto. Anto uh, is also one from the team. He uh, worked with us in January and February. Really nice dude. Super nice. Who studies at uh, Imel Col in France. Real pleasure. I think maybe we could maybe make it a thighs a little bit bigger. I would be doing a lot for the okay, shape. Has a yeah. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Thanks for being here. It's a pleasure. Somebody asked, uh, "How how are you?" So that was that. We could get that belt up here. I'm like, so if it looks like I'm speeding up, it's because I really want to get to color and put shadows on within the next 18 minutes. So that's why I just want to do this sketch real fast. What shape should the should the tail be? Let me know. Continue over here in one while.
a star for wishes. What? The legs, the break in the right here should be partially going the other way. This one here. Yeah. I'm just gonna I think it's just because that uh, I wanted to try to have these like goat fox legs which are basically going like this, right? I think that's what uh, that's what was confusing me. Now this is more like a fox, I guess. Animals. That's so weird. <laughs> I love animals. What are people saying? <laughs> no, we just don't ask. Maybe can we get you to say that the uh, shaggy from Scooby Doo smells nice? Yes, please. Can you stop? Is Somebody wants me to say that Shaggy from Scooby Doo nice. smells nice, nice, and he's hot. <laughs> I mean, he does. <laughs> Oh my god, which one is it from the is it, is it from the live action movies or from yes, the Yes. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. Star, let's go for star. She is a part after all. Let's go for this one, and I'll clean it up later. Now I just want a color. Maybe we could have a small. No, this is fine. Some daggers would be good over here, maybe. So I'm just going to duplicate this layer and do a little bit more with it. Check the Twitch. <laughs> okay, let me just show that. So this happened. I'm not even sure if I can stream that. What? I don't know who made it. Who? Made it, uh, who? So, Raiko Art. Really cool. Good job, man. Raiko Art. Thanks for following. Ninkaju. Okay. So I have been messing too much with this now, so I'm gonna color. So the fast way to do it is just to make like a color layer. I'm gonna do that here, and let's choose some cool colors, some part colors, what should we do? I'm gonna be inspired from this over here, actually. I think this is pretty cool up here, the, 
the red and yellow, white and black, it's also cool. Let's try that. What? What are you saying? Yeah, I have 10 minutes, it's fine. We're doing a little um, team thing later. That's why we're rounding up at nine. And then we're gonna go for maybe some white here. And what skin color should she have? Maybe a little bit like Tira, some bluish. What? What? Sorry, can you repeat? Pastel mint green for the skin color. I'm gonna try for some green. I think that would be cool actually. Let's go for that. Um, and then what hair color? Should we go for white? No. Reddish. Could be cool actually. And then maybe we need to figure out what the weapon should be, like the instrument. That one is is really never before seen totally original design what color is it Maybe a little bit like this for the bandages. And we could just check it out in the background. now all right thanks for following long mad silver sounds like Paris name and her weapon should be dark I think that would be cool Some Maybe it's the same with the uh, thing here, actually. Maybe dark in here. And then maybe close to the, whatever her eye color is gonna be. Let's make those yellow. White is yellow. Or oh, black, oh, that'd be cool. Is that too much with black eyes? Let me know, then I'll get back to them. That's true. That's true. I'm making it too uh, too close. Compliment, compliment, but I mean the contrast lies a little bit in the hair right now because the hair is red and the skin is green. So I think we have to go away from that. And the con and the opposite color of brown is basically brown. <laughs> um, but pink. 
Like yeah, so, so a lot of people say purple. Purple? purple. Yeah. Where, where, what do you want purple? You need to know. Either the hair or... Let me know what you want, uh, purple or um, another color, and then I'll check it out. If it works. Okay, so darker green or oh, glowing eyes. Let's try that. Ah, oh, Dog and Swift! I got a little like, uh, woo, in my stomach there. Hey, Dog and Swift! Awesome to see you here. Everyone, like, check out Dog and Swift stuff and uh, go right over and follow them on on Twitch as well. They're awesome, awesome. The creators of uh, they made the Starlight Brigade and have some really really cool things going. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully, I hope to be able to do something with uh, with them at some point soon. So, as mentioned in the beginning of the stream, this is actually gonna be Kenneth animating her, and I'm gonna be animating the um, the bird here. So. Uh, Everything we do here is uh, is gonna be interesting to see what actually I'm up against. Um. Oops. And um. yeah, just sh shoot ahead if you have any questions and the uh, questions. Because we're ending in five minutes, and I want to put shadows on as well. Probably not going to have time for too much more, but I will change the light green eyes as you talked about. Maybe a neon green like this. Like this? That's pretty neat. Mm, someone mentioned how all of our colors are warm. Maybe they're cool colors. Ah, oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Let's do that. Ooh, pineapple on pizza or no? Nice. Well, I mean, the uh, the Kinku, you know, I'll have to um, take that design and and make uh, a character out of it. And Kenneth has to take this design and make uh, what he wants out of it. So I'm just going to do my best to make it an interesting character. And uh, then I'll see what I get back. It's going to be pretty fun. Oh, why do I keep this color? Well, I mean, first of all, don't, if you're a new painter who um, wants to like go out and start drawing and stuff, uh, it's just nice not to like think that you should be like the best from the day one. You should put little goals for yourself and then every time you like reach to the next level, it's in your hands and you, you have that, uh, that tool and that skill. So it's just a matter of keep to keep doing it and keep studying and w finding some artists you like and try to do what they do. Um, it's just like, a, you know, some kind of language when you're drawing. And there are many different ways of doing it and you can't do all of it. So just like train the, um, yeah, the things you, you're interested in. I forgot totally what it was. Uh, I should do like some some like color that was uh, cold. What what cold color should we take? Mm. One. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> this was a really, really nasty yellow. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Men Patoli, for following. Pleasure to have you here. Okay, so I think that. Did you have a suggestion for the for the call color, Jenny? No one said anything. No. Then I'm going to put shadows on now because we have very little time left for today. This song, actually the disco song of the reward theme that was supposed to be in the um, in the bar where Vito is getting drunk um, and where he loses his map. But we ended up choosing something that had less dominating uh, a less dominating melody. All right. Which one? This one? Yeah. Oh yeah. Instead of the yellow. Might be a very dominating blue. It's kind of cool, actually. Let's try to make it more. Yeah, it's very, very blue. I think we can't have too many colors on. But what else should it be? Yeah, we can always come back to it. Original character. What should we call her? Actually, we have to put a name on her. Come with some good ideas for names. Also for the Kenku, actually, would be nice. And meanwhile, I will do some shadows. Yeah, then we can finish up by naming these characters. So I'm just gonna put some shadows on to make it more um, 3D dimensional or have like a feel. It's gonna be fun to do the animation jam again, I can't wait. And I'm also gonna stream that. Then I guess I'm just gonna get like the scene um, and then animate, um, you know, my character and then send it back and then we keep on like that. So we get more and more animation on it until we have a little, a little, a little duel. Yeah. Someone said Derek. Uh, Sifia. Uh, Derek. Oh, for the Kenko. <laughs> Mithlia. Also good. Mimir. Mimir. Ah, that's Mimir. a nice one. <laughs> Sylvia. <laughs> uh, lover. <laughs> lover. And she turns into a soccer bus. Song slayer. Oh, let me see. <laughs> like him, that's the opposite of Megal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know that so fast? Uh, because I know. You've done that before. <laughs> Someone's saying melody. Oh yeah, melody is actually really nice. I'm gonna write that. That's a good one. Then we need one for the... Um, Kenku. Kenku. Melody. Could be like a gnome bard as well. Or like a nickname for it at least. Should be spelled differently than the normal melody. Jafna. Jafna for the Kenku. Mm, uh, clack. Clack. Clack is nice. We're gonna go for clack. Clack and melody. Yeah, I like those two. <laughs> 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 
Clack. That's awesome for the Kenko. I love that name. Okay, but let me just do the last shadows here and then we can round it up. It's been such a, an awesome pleasure to um, have you guys coming in here today. Let me just finish the shadow so we can see how she turns out. Oh yeah, let's do that. Awesome. So we're just going to raid Ross because he's online. Uh, help. Oh yeah, the journey is the reward. It is. Okay, I'm almost done here. Altherion. We will have a team field trip now. What are you guys doing in the summer? Are you guys having a, like doing something nice? People in the chat. At least, definitely, you have to see the next Choose the Path coming <laughs> next month. It's seven minutes long. We've been going crazy on it. to show this to Kenneth and I hope he's gonna be happy with his design here. He can do whatever he want with it, so but I think that he's gonna be close to it. There's a little bit of uh, many details, so let's see how much we can how much we can do. Will you help me with the rating thing? Mm -hmm. Oh I have to get off first. Oh no. What? Forward slash raid in the chat and then space rubber in the chat. Okay. Jane, you have to come over here. <laughs> There's a cat. Okay, so we're just gonna raid Ross, mm -hmm. Robert Jimmy Jeff, because um, he's streaming now, so that'll be super nice. So I click here. Thanks for the following. This one. Mm -hmm. All right, but uh, this is gonna be the uh, the design um, that we're gonna use. I hope you like it. Um, the last thing we need is just to have like a little bit of a shadow on, and uh, and I think we're good to go. Oh yeah, remember to shove the journey as the reward in Ross's chat and say uh, a let friend sent you. And uh, thank you so much everyone for being here. Also like super awesome that uh, Doig and Swift is in here. Really, uh, really cool. If you don't know them, then you have to check them out. All right, it's done. <laughs> it is done. Export as a PNG sent over to my good friend. I'm just gonna save it here on the desktop, because that's how much I roll. All right. I did it, right? Thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to tune back in when we um, are going back live again. Have an awesome summer and maybe uh, we'll see each other um, one of the next couple of weeks. Where I think I will be animating or talking about like the lore of the Tales of Lifting episodes. Alright, take care. <laughs> Thank you so much everyone. You rock.
I think my chair fell down.